We are over a year into uh, business slowdowns and restrictions due to the pandemic. Can you reflect upon what you saw in your industry over the past year? And more importantly, are things finally picking up now? Uh, definitely. Over the past year, the pandemic has really caused a, a great deal of uh, a, a large effect on the film industry. It, it shut a lot of things down and forced a lot of people into situations that are, you know, at times unbearable. But the good side is filming productions have been picking up dramatically. New Jersey has been getting a huge push and boom in filming since we've started uh, lowering the COVID standards and testing has become a regular. So at this point, productions have, have really risen a lot. How much are the tax credits and other incentives helping filmmakers uh, look at New Jersey with different light? Well, New Jersey has one of, if not the best tax credits in the country. Uh, when it comes to our tax credits, People have been flocking to New Jersey before the pandemic and they're definitely coming back now because our tax credits give you uh, a great number of availability to different productions, your tax credit 2% above and below the line for diversity. Uh, the governor has done a great job with the tax credits. The New Jersey Film Commission has held everything together, uh, bringing in new productions and the city of Newark alone has been seeing a boom because of the tax credits and mainly the diversity part. What sort of productions are being filmed in New Jersey right now? Uh, you've got Law and Order. You have The Equalizer. Uh, there's a movie I, I can't name right now just for you know, certain reasons, but it, it's an A-list celebrity that everyone will be happy about. Uh, there's at least 30 different productions going on in the state right now. It's pretty impressive. And how about at your studio in terms of the workload, uh, have you had to, for instance, hire more people to come on board? So we haven't gotten back to full capacity yet uh, because of COVID. However, we have seen a big jump in productions. I just did a production with ABC Disney yesterday uh, for the past two days. We have uh, Impractical Jokers coming down and uh, our best show that we had for seven years, Ink Masters is in talks of coming back. So. There's a lot of productions that are, are now coming back to revisit the studio. And we have seen a large jump in more independent films than anything. So it's the independent creatives that are taking this opportunity to capitalize on what's here. It just seems like we're seeing a momentum that is really kind of taking hold at this point. Well, let's, let's be clear about one thing. New Jersey has always been the epicenter of filming from Hannibal Goodwin inventing celluloid film to uh, Edison creating the camera to Fort Lee being the first film studio. New Jersey has always had that push and that drive. And with places like Ironbound Studios, NJ Pack, um, you have new studios in Kearney being built. That push and that drive it has always been there and it's getting larger simply because New Jersey has a better diversity of uh, atmosphere, the scenery, the buildings, the cities. We are a great filming location. There's no other state you can go to that will give you large cities, beaches, hotels, casinos, parks, the way we do. So our, our city, our state alone is just amazing when it comes to filming. Great to talk to you. Thank you so much. Uh, it's been a pleasure. Thank you. Thanks for watching. For more clips and episodes of NJ Business Beat, subscribe to the NJ Spotlight News YouTube channel.